The new Roots feature introduced Zygarde in the 10%, 50%, and 100% form into Pokemon Go. But to get this Pokemon, it's not easy. First thing you have to do is complete from A to Zygarde special research story to catch your 10% Zygarde in the first place. This special research story will require you to complete a route and find some Zygarde cells. But once you've caught your 10% Zygarde form, you need to find these things called cells to turn it into the 50 and 100% form. Well, today we're gonna be running through the fastest way to grind Zygarde cells in Pokemon Go and the top tier strategies all the best players are using. Some people already have 50% Zygarde in Pokemon Go by using these strategies. So let's go through it right now. Also, don't go anywhere because at the end of this video, we're gonna go through a strategy on how to guarantee Zygarde cells from roots. So first thing to mention, roots apparently aren't available to everybody. Just like, why? Did they not release roots globally to everyone? I've heard plenty of people who say they cannot nominate roots, they have no roots in their local area, and just can't really take advantage of this feature. So if that's you, come back to this video when you do get roots, because unless you got roots or can nominate them near you, you can't grind Zygarde cells. But for anyone who does have access to roots, let's go through the root mechanics and how roots work in Pokemon Go. Roots are going to be anywhere from 500 meters all the way up to 20 kilometers long. And you can go ahead and start a route and walk along the route to complete it. Along the route, you're gonna see three root exclusive spawns, the ones with the little root icon beside them. These spawns will be boosted regional Pokemon generally. So whatever region you're in, there's actually a higher chance you get regional Pokemon. So if you're visiting an area and you wanna try to find the regional Pokemon, it can actually be pretty essential to do roots. Nonetheless though, these three root spawns one of them can change out for a Zygarde cell. So if you only see two root spawns on a root, then you know that the other one is probably a Zygarde cell. It's kind of like the Zygarde cell replaces one of these root exclusive spawns. We're gonna talk more about Zygarde cells in a bit, but if you do see a Zygarde cell, click it as fast as possible because once the root is complete and you get to the end of the root, that Zygarde cell and all the root spawns will disappear. So roots and exclusive stuff with roots only are active as long as you're on the root. Once it's over, it's all gone. Final thing to talk about roots is that they can be completed at any speed. There's no speed cap on roots. So you can, you know, bike, drive, go on a scooter, skateboard, whatever to complete your route. It doesn't matter. The only thing you have to consider is the speed at which you're going. Sometimes if you're going too fast, you won't even see any spawns. So you obviously don't want to be going over. I think it's 40 kilometers an hour, but anywhere under that, you can, you, you don't have to walk routes. You can drive them. With the route mechanics out of the way, let's talk about the cell mechanics and how Zygarde cells work in Pokemon Go. Like I mentioned before, cells are going to replace one of those three root exclusive spawns on every single unique route. Cells will also only appear once you are in range of them, your inner spawn circle. So you know how there's two circles around you? The inner one, the cell will only appear if you walk close enough to it and it's in there. If you walk away from a cell and that circle goes away from the cell and you don't click on the cell, there is a chance it disappears because it's no longer in your field of view. So the second you see a cell appear or that little sparkly thing on the ground, click it as fast as possible. Now, a huge part about cells is going to be the max of three per day. Yes, you can only get three Zygarde cells per day. Now, I've seen some people online debating this in which, oh no, you can get more than three. This is just a lie. But from what I've seen all my research, it looks like you can only get three Zygarde cells a day. Doing the math, if you want to get the full 250 Zygarde cells, it takes to get the complete form of Zygarde, because if you don't know, it takes 250 Zygarde cells. It's going to take you a minimum of 84 days to do this if you get three cells every single day. So Niantic really probably needs to change this. Again, this could be a fake cap in which the person who was researching online just found out it's three, but it seems like it's three cells per day. If someone has anything else to say about that and I'm completely wrong, let me know in the comments. Another important thing to note is that you can only get one cell per unique root each day. So if you do a root and you find a Zygarde cell, you cannot do that root again and find more Zygarde cells. You have to go to a different root. Don't know why Niantic did this. You can't just go back and forth up the exact same route. You have to find unique roots, which makes it even more annoying for people in rural areas who don't have a lot of roots. So it can be definitely beneficial to nominate multiple roots in your area so you can at least get those three Zygarde cells every single day. It's also important to note that when you do see that shiny little crystal thing on the floor that is a Zygarde cell, it's actually possible to get more than one Zygarde cell from that. Sometimes you can click on it and you can get all three of your Zygarde cells for the day in one click. Sometimes you can get two, sometimes it'll only be one. But just note, it's not always gonna be just one Zygarde cell when you click that shiny thing on a root. You could just get all your cells from one, which is kind of nice. Cells will generally be found at the start, in the middle, or the end of a root, but mostly it seems like cells generally appear in either the end of roots. I think this is so Niantic really wants people to motivate people to complete the full root. But yeah, generally you're gonna find these Zygarde cells at the end of roots, those crystal-y things. So definitely try to go to the end before you exit the root and say there's no cells. Now with all this stuff in mind and all the mechanics in mind, how do we go about grinding Zygarde cells and what is the fastest way to get them? Well, number one, find a unique root. 
route. Hopefully in your local area, you have a bunch of routes, but the first thing you wanna do is find a route every single day that you can do once to try to get the Zygarde cell. Number two, hop on a bike, a scooter, driving, or some sort of fast method of transportation. It's gonna be the fastest. Walking is great and all, but when it comes to routes and Zygarde cells, it's not really worth wasting all that time walking when you can just zip through the route and get to the end to try to find the cell. As you go along the route, keep an eye out for the Zygarde cells, because remember, there is a chance that they do appear in the middle. Also keep an eye out for those route exclusive spawns and try to count how many you see on a route. If you end up seeing three of those route exclusive spawns, there's probably a pretty small chance you're actually gonna find a Zygarde cell on that route. Now, if you do end up seeing three spawns, you can probably complete that route and find another unique route to work on. But if you do not and you only see two spawns or even less, once you get near the end, I recommend you stop close to the end of the end of the route. Then you can walk around, don't go towards the end because it could automatically end the route, but walk around in circles and do a couple loops around the end of the route. Hopefully then the Zygarde cell will appear and then you can complete the route. If you end up not finding anything, there is a chance that there's just no cell on that route and complete the route. Then all you gotta do is simply repeat that, find more unique routes. You can't do the same one again to try to find Zygarde cells till you get your max of three a day, if the max thing is actually a real thing. Now with all that in mind, guys, I now wanna pass it to Daxi of the future, who's gonna go through a strategy recently discovered by Pogo Milo UK and I believe a couple other YouTubers on how to guarantee Zygarde cells or almost guarantee Zygarde cells per route. It really depends if there's actually a cell there or not. So I'll pass it out to Pokedaxi in the field. Take it away. Okay, guys, we're here and we found ourselves a route called a walk to the river. A nice route here, only 766 meters. We got the bike here with us because obviously you want to be going as fast as you can because it doesn't really matter how fast you're going. But yeah, we're going to hop on this route, keep an eye out for those route exclusive spawns. And at the end, I'm going to show you guys how you can guarantee a Zygarde cell spawn. And we're off. There you go. A path to the river has begun. And there we go, our first root exclusive spawn is a Machop. You can tell by that little icon it has. So generally roots will have three of those in which one of the cell will replace. And yeah, there you go. Let's keep going. We're actually almost done. Okay guys, we are now within 100 meters of the end of the route. That's generally where you're gonna wanna stop about 100 meters out, and you pretty much just stop moving. Now we only saw one route exclusive spawn, which means the chance of a Zygarde cell is very possible here. So what you're gonna do for this strategy, click on the roots feature, you're gonna click pause, Root, click pause root. Then you're gonna go ahead, close the game, and try to reopen the game now. Now, once the game has reopened, you're gonna go ahead and click on that pause button. It should re-zoom the root. And then from there, you're gonna see, look at that. Oh, a Zygarde cell just appeared. I actually missed it. I'm gonna do the strategy one more time, see if I can get it to go. Pause root, close game, reopen. Okay, here we go, reopen. Now we have to be vigilant when it respawns. Unpause root. There it is, there it is, there it is. Click it, bang. There you go, Zygarde cell was sucked into the cube. It actually spawned at a different location. Now you can see I have 14 Zygarde cells. I actually believe that got me two Zygarde cells because I was at 12. It might've even got me three. I think I was at 11 Zygarde cells. Wow, okay, bang. Nonetheless, that's the strategy. It's that simple. You actually don't even have to finish the route. You can if you want. I don't really know if there's any benefit other than I guess the metal, but I can go ahead and finish the route or I can just simply go quit route. I got the Zygarde cell, it doesn't matter. That's the strategy. It's really that simple. Go from the start. Once you get to the end, pause the route reopen the game. I don't even think you really have to keep an eye out on the on the root spawns. Just give it a try when you get to the end of the route and be quick to click on that Zygarde cell when it does spawn. I'm gonna pass it back to Daxi in the booth to give us a bit more information and sign us off. Okay guys, and that is the fastest way to grind Zygarde cells in Pokemon Go. I hope this video educated you guys a little bit on how this mechanic works. Now I'm not gonna lie, all this information was taken online, so some of it could be wrong. So if you have info or proof to prove on different strategies and other ways to grind Zygarde cells or that some of this info is incorrect, let me know in the comments section below. We always want to be spreading information and figuring out new things about the game. But for now, this seems to be the best strategy. So go ahead and follow it. Good luck grinding roots and getting your complete form of Zygarde. We'll see you on the next one. Follow for dips. Peace.